For the following exercise, determine whether the relation represents y as a function of x. All right, so in order to do this, we first have to make sure that this uh, equation that's given to us is solved for y. And unfortunately, in this case, it is not. All right, so that will be our first step. I have listed out the steps in the bottom left. So the first step here is to solve the equation for y. So let's just rewrite it. I'm actually going to give myself a little more space. So x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. Solving this thing for y, I need to subtract the x squared on over to the right-hand side. So after I do that, I'm left with y squared is equal to uh, negative x squared plus 9. And then what I have to do is to solve for y by itself, right? I have to get rid of the square. So how do we do that? Well, simply we take the square root, okay? And if we take the square root of the left-hand side, guess what we got to do to the right? The same exact thing, okay? Now, please remember this, that when you take the square root of a square, the value you will get is both the positive answer and the negative answer of the item under the square, okay? So in this particular case, right, it was y squared. When I take the square root, the square root cancels the square, and what I'm left with is the positive and negative answer of what y is, okay? That's going to be important in terms of how to graph this function in your calculator. So now the right-hand side, we're just gonna leave it alone, square root of negative x squared, oops, negative x squared plus nine. Okay, now I can simply move these signs on over to the right-hand side, because remember, I just wanna solve this thing for y, okay? So the signs we can just move over, so it's positive and negative, negative x squared plus nine. Now the benefit of doing it uh, like this is that now I can simply rewrite this equation in two ways, okay? I can write the positive answer on the left, if I like, and the negative answer on the right. For example, I can write y is equal to positive square root of negative x squared plus nine. And then I can also write the equation out as y is equal to negative square root of negative x squared plus nine. So now when we do this, Okay, we can now plug these two equations into the calculator, and now it will graph it for us, okay? So now when we do that, okay, you can throw it on into the calculator, and we will get something that probably looks like this. So let's see. So the, the graph on your, the picture should look something along these lines. All right, it's a circle, this is approximate. All right, and uh, what I know here, also is just the general nature of this equation. This is an equation of a circle, right? So you might not even need to go through all this algebra if you do remember the um, general nature of what the formula or the equation of a circle looks like, all right? But if you didn't remember, no problem. You still know the steps for algebra and you can then arrive at these two equations, graph them in your calculator, plug them in, I mean, and then we can see that the graph is a circle. Now, the third then step after we, after we uh, solve for y, then after we create the graph, the next thing is to then perform the vertical line test. Okay, so I'm just going to recreate the graph over here. And the vertical line test is a test where you draw a vertical line that intersects the graph, okay? And if we notice, if we draw this vertical line, it will intersect the graph at two locations, okay? And the vertical line test specifically then says that if a vertical line does not intersect the graph more than once, it's a function. But what happened in this case? The vertical line has intersected the graph more than once. It intersected the graph in two locations. And therefore, this equation that they gave to us, or this relation, is not a function. It fails the test. All right? And that would be the answer. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends. We'll see you later.